Welcome to Climathon, EIT Climate Kick's year-round platform for climate action with a solutions hackathon at its core, where people like you join forces and take climate action. Over time, Climathons help create tangible projects, support climate positive businesses and address local policy changes that reduce carbon emissions and build a better future for our cities. This year, Climathons aim to help cities become hotspots for transformative solutions. These are solutions that move beyond small, incremental changes in our current system and instead explore new ways to deliver transformative change. We need solutions that can dramatically reduce emissions across society, while at the same time not undermining other sustainability goals or locking us into unsustainable patterns of behaviour. Using the latest technologies, business models, values and your passion, Climathon can be a vehicle to help source solutions that will help us live smarter. So far, the focus on problems and how to reduce emissions from big polluters has mostly led to small, incremental changes. That's not enough. We need to rethink the type of solutions to our climate challenges. We need to ensure that our solutions to climate challenges are not merely making our old system slightly less bad or solve one problem while creating another. Transformative solutions help us to fundamentally rethink and redesign the way that we go about our lives. Instead of putting in place solutions that lock us into our current excessive patterns of consumption and production, we need to contribute to an overall change in how we deliver what we want and need. Let's take Rosa, for example. Each day, she drives to work in her fossil fuel powered car, as do many of her friends and neighbours. She's considering switching to an electric vehicle, this would certainly have a positive climate impact. But, and she knows it, this isn't enough. Cars remain a very resource-intensive and inefficient way to deliver what is needed. Being transformative means thinking much wider. Why does Rosa need to use a car anyway? Rosa spends most days working on a laptop sharing documents and having virtual meetings with colleagues all over the world. Does she really need to travel physically to work every day? And when she does, how can we make it easier for her to cycle or go by foot? Currently, Rosa, just like many other people living in cities, works in a big old building that's energy inefficient. Clearly, the building would benefit from retrofitting to improve its energy efficiency. But a transformative approach would be to look beyond obvious solutions. Why is the physical space needed? What can be done to reduce the need through flex working and sharing space? Inevitably, there are times when Rosa will need to be in an actual office space. But does her company really need such a large, dedicated and permanent office? Transformative thinking about solutions can help us shift the focus from the building and ask what value is really provided by an office. Let's explore blurring the lines between private workspaces and public and semi-public spaces, and between physical and virtual spaces. Smarter and more productive use of places and spaces is not only a critical factor in achieving a sustainable environment, but also cuts the cost of doing business. Rosa often flies to attend conferences, of course, choosing less carbon-intensive ways of travelling, such as going by train, is often better. But even better would be to consider why do we need to have such events in the first place, and who needs to be there physically. And when it is necessary to meet all at the same time, 
Remote conferencing would have a transformational impact on CO2 emissions caused by the need to meet. At home in the evening, Rosa and her partner usually prepare a meal, of which the main ingredient is meat. They seem to be locked into this behavior, inherited from their families, where meat is the norm. Rosa is aware of the effect of meat production on global warming and sustainability, so she tries to buy meat with a lower climate impact. It's a step in the right direction. But what if we could find ways to encourage families like Rosa's to shift to a mainly plant-based and more healthy diet that is based on seasonal produce? These are just a few examples to inspire you to take a step back and look at the wider effects of transformative solutions. At last, we are trying to address climate change, but we must deliver at a pace and on a scale that is unprecedented. We should not let this make us frustrated and angry. Well, maybe a little. We have many brilliant minds on the case. With more people engaged than ever, we can deliver what is needed. To do this, let's all use the tools that exist. And where tools are lacking, let's invent them. It's time to think transformatively about our solutions.